Discipline Stoners! The gateway drug to mindfulness. Gateway drug to mindfulness. Let's roll one up and take a hit. Gateway drug to mindfulness. Let's roll one up and take a hit. Gateway drug to mindfulness. There we go. Hey! We're in podcast land again. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to another, another episode, episode of Discipline Stoners. Stoners. I'm your host, Eleven. My name is Winnie. And we, we are, are the, the gateway, gateway drug, drug to mindfulness. mindfulness. Fuck, I wonder what episode we found that on. No, I don't want to try it again. No, that was, that was good. perfect. That was a nice slide. I was wondering if I could uh, just buzz in with um, <clears throat> an affirmation to begin. Please. Okay, so just take a moment. Um, whatever you're doing, wherever you're, you're at, if you're on the subway or um, if you're sitting down at home, just take a moment, sit down with us. And or stand, standing's fine. If you're standing, uh, you know, bring those legs hip distance apart. And then just deepen the breath. And if you wanna close your eyes, you can do that. Just start to really just slow down your inhales and allow the exhales to fall out of you. I am so grateful for my capable, beautiful body. I am so grateful for this vessel that contains my world, this limited meat sack that I get to experience through. Mm. And I'm so grateful for my unlimited consciousness and I'm so grateful for the merging of the two. And I appreciate my intuition. And I appreciate listening to myself. And I know what is right for me. Mm. Deep breath. And exhale. I was just on. That was beautiful, Winnie. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing me to do that. I was on my way home and I was just so flooded with this. Like, I think for, I've been this whole year, I've kind of been like, what is our bodies? What is my skin? Like, what is aging? What is, what is, what is? And I, I, I often am grateful and thankful for my body, but I did a mm. boxing class this morning. Yes. And I think that has really like grounded me in the physical. Mm. And I just think it's so beautiful that we are like this unlimited, <laughs> unlimited ether contained in matter yeah it's so crazy what was that i had wayne dyer on this morning yes. and he was kind of touching on some things like that yeah. being unlimited consciousness in the vessel and i've been finding what's so beautiful thank you so much for starting us off that way uh leads perfectly into a concept that i've been thinking of i want to freak out about this weed but i want to i want to just clarify this no no no, no. open it okay thank you um I even get so esoteric and it would seem as though I'm constantly reaching up like this dimension isn't enough. Like we're yeah. often those soul searchers, those seekers, those meaning finders, those spiritual beings. It seems we're always reaching, the th oh, this is so third dimensional, this is so matter based. Yeah, I've said those words myself and I still do and they're appropriate in some situations. Yeah, But we're going you know, I want to get to the fourth dimension, which we we pretty much already are in. If you're listening to us right now, this that's the, this is the fourth dimension, like in the mind, like yes, the thought. Fourth. And then fifth is like where you go up to one is six. So we're if you think about it, we come from there. We come from source. Yeah. We come from many more dimensions, and we come down to the third in these incredible vehicles to feel and use our senses. Shouldn't we be trying to simplify further even? Like in the third, push it to the second? Like simplify mm. even further? And I've been finding whole, a lot more holy ground, like a lot more, wow, this is divine. It truly is. Like not just like the miracle of manifesting ideas like I'm usually on, but like this is actually vibrating matter. It's divine. It's here to serve us Yeah. in our experience. And it's incredible. Yeah, and like... It needs to be shitty sometimes. 
it actually, there is nothing here for us if we don't go through hardship and we don't feel like alone sometimes or we don't feel lonely sometimes or if we don't feel sad or like nothing's working out like we literally need to feel that in order to feel something else i was listening to alan watts on the way home i think that probably inspired this and um and he was just like if this wasn't awesome like we would have all committed suicide already yeah this is awesome like there is something here to be really appreciated it's and the journey it's the flow and yeah you're right i used to have a running theory like no it can all be a light no it can't mm -hmm. you couldn't know the glory of being in complete harmony with the one consciousness god or whatever you want to call it unless you felt so far away before the reason why the things we speak about sometimes are so profound is because there's so much clarity in them and people who we follow Wayne Dyer and stuff you know when these moments come up and the, and the clarity is so real you can't negate it and you're just like oh that feels right to know that it's almost like I'm remembering that like that alignment is only so special because we've been living in the diluted perception of reality that is our individual ego identities reality I've been observing yeah. if someone has any complaints you're only a true leader if your complaint or objection is something that affects everyone. So many folks act like they're fighting for a reason, a cause, a community, something larger than them. And it's really just moments of things that people don't like themselves personally and react to it and try to control it. Like tell people they have problems because like they did something that they don't personally like or tying in like some sort of larger cause with like your personal angst against some individuals not type so well and that's we're why making I, this shit up yeah and that's why i think therapy talk therapy like a lot of people talk shit about talk therapy and that's fine i don't i definitely don't think it's for everyone but what i do think is that there's something for everyone mm. and i don't think that everything is for everyone that would be we would be would too be busy insane. and chaotic there's too many things but like the reason why I talk, I like talk therapy is because y y you were talking about that, that sort of personal angst. Mm -hmm. And in therapy, you can uncover those angsty uh, roots yeah. that are triggered outside of what the actual problem is. Untangle the knots. Yeah. That's what it feels like. You're yeah. untangling the knots and you're all fucked up. Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's like sort of getting a, a, an emotional massage. I love massages. <laughs> Since we've gotten this gun, I've been getting way less massages. Dude, if anyone out there is debating getting a massage gun, listen, it's worth the investment. And in the meantime, if you're debating getting a massage, it's also, also worth, worth the, the investment. investment. But the massage gun is like, uh, it costs like three or four massages like one hour long body massages? No, it only cost two. Okay, great. So yeah. that's why even better than massage gun is gonna be bang for your buck. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. What a fun way to begin. Thank you so much. My that was pleasure. That was a big dose of a syrupy mindfulness to start us off with. Yes. Can we geek out on weed now? Let's geek out on weed. Holy shit, holy fucking shit. I went to the shop. I was at lunch with my friend Elise, and I went to the shop afterwards to grab some, a few things for our podcast, and I think I did. Oh, my God, did you ever. So we'll start at, these are all very exciting, but we'll start at. These three things are brand new to market. Oh, to my the God. Ontario market. These okay. all have obviously. So we'll talk about the new stuff first. Yeah. Shreddums. Sour Blue Raspberry, four indica gummies, total THC, 10 milligrams, total CBD, 20 milligrams. And so they have five milligrams of CBD each and 2.5 milligrams of THC each. That's a really safe consumer new product. That Especially if you're looking for like sleep help. Sleep help, Cause, just cause chill. Because that's gonna get you, one gummy is gonna get you high, but that CBD is gonna just like dampen any of that anxiety mm. and just lead you right into a schnoozy schnooze. This will be a nice hang for me if I'm ever doing any social hangs. Yeah. If you're like a daily smoker. So we got that. Um, we got Box Hot Fatties. Is this a rad sister company? 
I am not sure. That's a, that's a good similar. question. It does look similar. Anyway, Couch Lock Kush, one gram premium oil infused blunt. Shit. Yeah. So that's so, a one gram blunt that, in there. This is a three to one. This is brand new to market, and, and this is new innovation. This is a three to one infused blunt with THC as the three and CBN as the one. No way. So this is it's called Couch Lock. So this is also going to be an indica, um, like heavy hitter for sure okay no this is new yeah okay we should open that oh i have high expectations for this next thing okay truro truro yeah cannabis made we love the strain miracle alien cookies like mac like oh my god yeah so good and also we love i personally love cheese strains so much Mm -hmm. i had some blue cheese when i was like 20 in bc that forever made me a major cheese fan yeah and i've tried uk cheese and that was great and cheese has been great so we have this mac and cheese what was the price point on this that's that retails for 50 yeah but they so always, it's up there. It's so it's new to market, and they always come out the gate hot. First of all, so they might bring it down. We'll see if it's worth tuna, worth it. Tuna can, tuna can, and that helps keep the freshness of it. Check it out. Check, it out. check, check out the sound. Oh, nice. Oh shit. Okay. Oh man, I see it. I see it. Hello, hello, darling. Pass. It's more Mackey than cheesy. Pass. Pass, homie. Oh. Yeah, it looks like the Mac buds, but I see the cheesy genetics. Oh, okay. the dense The dense buds. Not the, the smell. Yeah, it's, it's nice, actually. It's not too much on the nose. It's light, but that's the Mac. That's the Miracle yeah. Alien cookies. So this is Miracle <laughs> Alien cookies crossed with alien cheese. Very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, see, that's why you get the alien in there. Wow, man, that looks beautiful. Yeah, let's... Show our friends. Mm, it's just a light little scent of pinein. Okay, we gotta kill this fly too. I know there's a fly next to it. And there's like purple and green. Yeah, do you see those purplies in there? It's not really there we go. It's it purple in the dance buds with nice light soft hairs. Actually beautiful short orange dense cheesy hairs cool wow well we'll let you know we're not going to smoke that right now oh, we'll let you know fuck. how that goes on our patreon so if you're not following us on patreon <laughs> yeah let us know because we're doing additional strain reviews and like as we do set up for all this that's all on patreon so go give us a check it out even if you check it out for one month see if you like it there will always be some special affirmations or something in there for you. And if you want to just, you know, continue the conversation with us over there, come and join us. Check us out. What Please is it? Do, yeah. What's the lowest tier? Five bucks a Five month? Five bucks a month. Yeah. Come on. Buy buy us a coffee. Come on. Come over. Anyway, so I'm not sure. I it sound, It's probably on. I just want to keep it nice and... Uh, yeah, it seems pretty well hydrated. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Well, we can also even just put it in here. Just yeah. put it in here because we have all that stuff. Okay. Um, okay, the, uh, this, fuck, this is my That's gonna be favorite, so good beyond too. Beyond favorite. But, uh, what do we got here for, you got us another pre-rolls. Countryside cannabis. We've had this, banana hammock. Right, banana hammock infused live resin cones. And there's five half grams in here. Yeah. That's perfect. What does that retail for, Win? That's, that's $28. Are you serious? Yes. That's a fucking hell of a deal. I know. Holy shit. I know. I think that's why they, because they had the tin uh, cans for their pre-rolls for their first set, and they sold out so quickly. I think they just decided to save some money on their uh, packaging, and then they switched over to to plastic, so that's kind of crappy, but still, they're amazing. They're amazing joints. Five half grams, 2.5 grams for $28. And they're, and they're infused. infused. Come on. Infused live resin cones. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, and they see they come with a little thing. Yeah. Come with a Bobita pack. Really good. Look at that. Everything that we have on this oh, table right now, spicy. besides, I can't speak for the stuff we haven't tried, but that, this, okay. that. And this is just going to be fire. We just know it. Yeah. So that's about three. That's 3.5. That's what you get. That's yeah. a two ounce jar, though. Um. Okay. This is the rock star of the industry right now, if you ask me. Should we keep this on or open it and show? Let's just keep it on. Yeah, we've shown jealousy on, yeah, our, on yeah. our Instagram a couple this of times. This is black so. market jealousy. 
It's fucking incredible, guys. Last episode, we smoked something that they gave us on the, the, the reserve directly from the boys who grow, but this is the sexiest bud on the market right now, I think. Yeah. Big, beautiful purple buds. Just incredible. Wonderful on the nose. So thank you, Winnie. Thank You're you welcome. for blessing yes. us. And right. here is our prince. That we're, Shout out John. You know, from Ivana, he's he makes these. I met the guy who made these. Nice. They hand make, make these. Um, yeah, you did actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. just briefly. But um, okay, cool. well, I was hanging with him. Oh wow. We love these, John. Yeah, they're so good. I was hanging with him at Okanabiz. Oh my god, look at that. Oh man, that's so beautiful. And there's definitely stuff in there, so we'll put another one of these in yeah. there. Or the joint, put it in there. So what these are is there's live resin in there, right? Yeah. And then it's rolled in keef. Yeah. So it's like a double whammy. Orange Kush cookies. Orange Kush cookies, live resin, double infused cone, one gram. And it's nice and short and it's a banger. So they put less of the stuff up top. Yeah. Because remember before good I was. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Well, fuck. Cheers, buddy. And thank you, Winnie, for getting this. We're going to smoke this. It's taken all this time just to get to. Uh, Everybody grab your, your joints. joints, your edibles, your topicals, your CBD. Doesn't need to be THC. We're not, uh, we love the plant for all of its benefits, not just the fact that you get high. Yeah. So you grab whatever you want to grab and we're going to smoke up. Get your tea. Yeah. It sounds like ocean waves as I burn this keef. Gentle in and out. Like a Zen garden wave. Oh man, my brain. It tastes so good. The orange, the citrus that they got going on with this <coughs> is just. It tastes so good and flavorful right off the top. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be sold out of those before the week is over. You gotta, you got to smoke good weed. If you're new to smoking weed, just. It's tough sometimes to be like, fuck, I don't want to spend. Because if you're new to alcohol, you don't go straight to the black label. Right. You know, you don't, generally. But with you're, weed, you can. But, yeah, you really should. Get the good stuff. You're going to smoke less. You're going to be higher, generally speaking. Like, it's just like a better experience. Yeah, you get to... Um really meet the plant better because the higher end weed is a lot of times you're paying for harvest you know because I've ordered strains that I love the strain of and I got it and I was like what is this and I've, I've gotten my driver to come back this is not the quality out like you know that I expect and if you're paying for a good harvest which means the the flower was rinsed properly like it got all the nutrients flushed out of it and it was dried and and all it was just treat it with the best level of care that's what you're paying for so you're getting the the cleanest thing for your body mm -hmm. you know and and mm. it, like when he said smoking less of it yeah it was so cool to have joe on he was just like yeah the plant matter yeah he it was i that think about that hash. all the time i'm like oh there's probably going to be a, a a time in life where we just don't really smoke that many joints I know. Probably we'll always smoke joints for the most just part. As, but just because like, we will, but like yeah. as humans. Yeah. Yeah, like our place just in Maui chilling as 60-year-olds are going to probably. Yeah, definitely. Have these all the time. 100%. Mm. 60 to 90? Yeah. High all the time. All the time. <laughs> like right now, I'm almost high all the time, <laughs> but it's because I got to do stuff. Yeah. But like then it will just be like. Chilling. Masterful high. Yeah. Painting. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to paint and write. Yeah. So I, last episode was fun because we got high and like we were we were potentially having a guest and the guest like <laughs> didn't couldn't end up coming, which is great. We're going to have him on at a, a different time. Yeah. But I ended uh, part of last episode with like I'm I'm not like ready <coughs> to like articulate what I'm feeling. And I just oh, want to yeah. talk about that Please. because I'm going through that right now where I'm like really um 
just like needing time to sit with concepts and my feelings and like the things that I'm doing and the things that I'm putting my attention on. And it is so nice, such a luxury to be able to sit with that. So I know that I'm very lucky, but I'm also making um, a deliberate choice in sitting with that and taking time and making that priority in my life. Um, but I heard, I was listening to Wayne Dyer, actually, I think it was. Because the power of the joint, you feel like a talking stick you are with the warmth, but the yeah. trick is to hit it while the other person's talking and then pass it. But um, continue, please, you listen to Wayne Dyer. So I was listening to Wayne Dyer and. He's been guiding us a lot lately. Yeah. Wayne Dyer, Alan Watts. Alan, the Dow. Alan's kicking my ass right now. I feel like I'm in Alan Watts training right now. Mm. I will listen to a 40 minute lecture with yes. him and I won't be able to tell you. Like I'll I'll maybe take a few little hidden gems that you I found why? from it. Because he's saying nothing. He's saying the truth, which is nothing. It is so, but it's... He deflates concepts. Yeah. Alan Watts goes, ah, isn't that funny? Like how we thought it was. Ha ha. <laughs> and your reality is just like... <laughs> totally. And you're just like, okay, I am nothing. <laughs> and I'm happy about that. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. And, and um, something that stu has stuck with me... They both preach the Tao. Yes. So we follow the Tao. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is what we read from sometimes, or Eleven reads from sometimes. Do the Tao. Um, and uh, Wayne was also <coughs> talking about this, this idea of polarity in this existence, um, which is probably where the starting thing came from as well. Like just you get this idea and you let it absorb and find your own concepts within it. Mm -hmm. But um, he was talking about polarity and he was like, practice? sitting with the texture mm. of misunderstanding. Oh. And I oh, yes. want to, <coughs> in my past, I very much wanted to control people's perception of me mm. or their idea of me. And I would do that by being inauthentic with myself in their presence. <sighs> Right? If I want someone to have a structured idea of me, I'm going to play the part that I'm hoping that they'll perceive. Right? Yeah, a lot of people fall into that trap. Yeah, so many people do. I think probably all of us do at some point. In Even time. a lot of successful people yeah, do too. Yeah, for sure. And so when it's he a said those trait. words, I was like, you know, Borat popped up for me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, bombing during stand-up or, or a joke not going well during stand-up popped up for me. Um, you know, conflicting conversations with uh, family members popped up for me. Mm. This this idea, this te sit with the texture of misunderstanding. <coughs> and when you feel yourself not reacting to it, but like sliding through it and just like allowing it to be, yeah. That's so beautiful. Well, and I think that there's a lot. We, we want to. Because you're not condemning it. We want to generally run away from or back away from that texture, I think. That's Anything just that like, doesn't feel good, we run away. It's naturally in our body, Anything right? Anything that doesn't feel good. So I think there is. That's why working out is counterintuitive. Yeah. Like, this hurts. This is challenging. <laughs> this, what the fuck am I doing here? Yeah. Standing exactly. in one small area, just moving my body frivolously, it seems bizarre <laughs> and exhausting. Yeah. But then it's like, if you don't do that, you won't be able to do that. So, like, either do it and have the ability, or don't do it, but don't expect to be able to do it. Yeah. A parallel yeah. there. If you don't use it, you lose it. For sure. That's why they're That's being, so I also think that, I'm going to jump around a bit so you can feel yeah. free to reel me in at any time, but no. just this idea of science, like science is awesome because like it's really cool when cool concepts get backed by a, an idea that we can all collectively agree upon and say that's right, that's science true. Science measures, measuring things creates facts, facts creates agreed upon realities. Yeah. So I like I actually like science for that, but like because <clears throat> for something to be a scientific fact, it just has to be recreatable. 
says that that's what they measure. Yeah. So we enough as times humans, to be like, oh, this is the outcome. Yeah, debatable sometimes if it's enough or not, but exactly, right. that's the fact module <clears throat> for us to be like, this is that. You can see it from that side, and I can see it from this side, right? So it's so cute that we're really just floating in space, making all this up. But because we decide to float together and have a similar experience, we've created <clears throat> something that seems tight and structured and square and mm -hmm. unnatural. But it is actually just us ascending. Right. Creating a grid to reference. <clears throat> It's never exactly the same. This is 3.5 cannabis. That's what you know. That's what I know. About how it affects me and how it affects you, completely different. Yeah. <laughs> fly? Kill him. I'm going to kill him. He, this fly is attacking us in our own home right now. <laughs> you keep ripping. I'm going to kill this fly. Okay, so I like science because of exactly what it does which yeah creates a perceivable structure that we can all agree upon and when we agree upon things uh change generally happens because uh we're saying this is the outcome so now we can fully invest in this to create this out outcome so awesome science but again we've all we it's so much of humanity is extremists and <laughs> And so for science to be the end all be all for anyone, uh, I don't really think makes sense because we, keeps changing because we the human beings have been yeah on the planet long enough that um, that the that science is only science until someone else says, oh, no, just kidding. Like we know <laughs> we, we know more now. Yeah. And this is what our new reality is. And when I because, yeah, that's right. That's the, what keeps changing the actual facts. But but those people who follow science, their um, <clears throat> moniker just keeps changing. So we're in the age of science now. Before this, it was church. Right. Like the same people oh, cool. that live the way. Yeah, that's yeah, like, like philanthropy. Belief-wise. Belief yeah, Belief-wise. Interesting. They're fulfilling the same structure. And it's like <clears throat> the general consensus, you know, ah. like what they didn't have news, but they had churches and gatherings yeah. and stuff like that. And that was the, the news. So, okay. so there's always been a political talk. <clears throat> so those people are just, they're not even necessarily decided. They're just fulfilling that general population role so right now it's the age of science before that it was church before church there was a less um in governed way of thinking i think there's less unanimous there was more mystics and there was more just separate kind of entities f fulfilling their own prophecies but <clears throat> It was the start of the unanimous, you know, it's the third dimension version of oneness, really. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it for creators, it puts a limit. But for, for those who just uh, prefer well, think, structure or to survive, yeah. Yeah, if yeah. they follow their DNA, you know, they, they like to go along with the, the constant status quo. It, it keeps changing. Yeah, but I think it, overall, timeline-wise, it makes that the, so the science is progress from the church because yes. now we're saying at least we can quantify Measure this it. whereas that was just like something that no one's really sure exactly. what's up. <laughs> we're making we're making progress but yeah. now where we get into it is how much of the politics affects the science. Right. And how much So the, much. I'm, <clears throat> I'm not just talking about things that I so much. don't get on board with, but I'm saying like uh sorry. What could he be talking about? <laughs> Recent science, politics and money. Those are the trigger words. You go ahead. <laughs> Fuck it. We just got demonetized. Shit shit shit. Shit shit shit. It doesn't kidding. matter if we have sponsors. Hey guys, reach out. We're open. <laughs> Call us. Thank you. Um anyway, back to this controversial <laughs> thing I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, everyone out there, give us money so we can talk. So shit. I can talk my shit, player. Anyway, no, I'm talking fucking truth over here. But I'm saying, when we go to measure things, if we stop having the critical thinking and the access to measure it ourselves, it's just like church. The scientists or the new priests. I hear what you're saying. What people said when they were like. <clears throat> 
if you disagree with it, they're like, you're not a specialist, you're not a doctor, you're not a scientist. That's mm -hmm. what they used to say. You're not a priest. You don't know. You don't talk to God. You're yeah. not a priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they're going, oh, you don't know how to measure this. You're not a scientist. Like it's the same function. Yeah. So it's so. But I, I think just just to play devil's advocate, I really think I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I know. I really think those people who are asking those questions. Um, <coughs> Just don't uh, want to see believe, themselves. I think they believe in the. Um, oh, please, just let me just let me find the word. Um, believe that authentically, people in medicine are will choose to help over like take bribes or whatever which we know obviously there's going to be the people in medicine do there's going to be but their bosses it's the people at the tibbity 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 top right this, your nurse isn't getting a kickback <clears throat> yeah but the owner of the hospital is right. like all that shit yeah. like it's like it's not personal well, no one's putting healthcare workers down thank god you're there that's a huge step forward for humanity mad respect I'm talking about the politics right. of even so let's get away from that and talk about like say pharmaceuticals replacing like we talked about with angelina like <clears throat> why do you give people addictive pills so you can keep them coming back as opposed to something that could entirely heal them and let people be free so you're indoctrinated as a doctor to serve your and we, structure and we've also not necessarily people yeah you're there to do a job you're not there to follow your free will of mm -hmm. how you should help people yeah because 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 medical science would be like well go start a cult then you fucking hippie around here you document everything and we do it this way and and we follow these rules and we push these medicines and we treat these patients like this we treat these patients yeah you know yeah fuck i don't i know i know yeah that's it fuck. so i'm i mean it's all love like i mean you need a cast put on you better hope someone's around but like I think <clears throat> I also think that the healthcare system is abused by lonely people. I think that people who don't need to go to the doctor do because they wish someone would just pay attention to them. I think that a lot of people are mentally ill and and they don't know what to do about it. So they go and kind of fish around with a physician. And I mean not a not a bad thing. No, it's a good it's it, no, it's a like, good place go for them explore. to land, right? Yeah. No, but just like I'm saying Doctors, they're probably, I don't want to say abused, but taken advantage of in a way that's like, I definitely, I they're mean, indestructible, like we, as people, like it's amazing. And our, our, um, it's very impressive. American friends probably won't resonate much with that because a hospital visit for you guys can be so scary. Oh, because yeah. Because you don't know the you financial don't know. repercussions. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We should do some research on that and see what Just see don't what get like. hurt. <laughs> if you're in the States, just don't. Um, just don't. So, but in Canada, yeah, I can see where it that if the uh, thing is available, I can see that it would get abused for sure by some. Yeah. Like that's just yeah, to say sorry. that it's not that was, going that to was be a, abused. That is, was a brag. That was an accidental Canadian brag. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I'm such a privileged fuck. <laughs> Uh, oh fuck! There's, I don't think there's too many places it's like a good Canada problem. either. <clears throat> it's a good problem to have, isn't it? Yeah. So. I guess that probably it is a good problem to have. Yeah, yeah our healthcare system is a great problem to have. Mm -hmm. I I don't know enough, and uh, I know people in the healthcare system Fuck. are frustrated. Mm -hmm. um, Man, because so. it's so necessary, but it's so hard to manage. Yeah, exactly. Like I have no actual solutions. Yeah. So it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's that's where it landed. That's what all this made everyone think, I think. Like, how underprepared it felt, or was that just fear porn from media? Well, even... Um, but, like, it's just like, holy shit, we have this really good idea to <clears throat> help people physically. That's such a good idea. Yeah, it's a we great idea. We should keep going with that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we should definitely not shut them down. <laughs> we yeah. should keep them. But, like... 
God, that we we're, I think we're just about to have a big level up in consciousness. I think that we're just a little sick of a slow analog process or something. We're about to have a big juice of technology or something. I don't, it's going to be interesting to see where all this goes because Eleven and I had very different days on Friday. I am with a telecommunications company right. called Rogers. Yeah, this happened. And I was uh, at work for the most of the day and then I was meeting a friend after work so I was gone for most of the day um, meaning like probably about 12 hours and my place of work didn't have any way to communicate because their their literal phone like landline was Rogers yeah. and their internet was Rogers and both of those were down so this this had a great uh, philosophical underlying is it's not safe to put all the trust and power in conglomerates if they're connected networks there shouldn't be a pep see coke ruler to every industry there should be more space for individual smaller units because then that crash that that it was weird it was super weird i mean you were completely unaffected because you have two your internet and phone are by people two servers who that who I'm, 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 I'm blessed so your boy is blessed but i will tell you how I didn't feel scared at all. It was a beautiful day. It was actually pretty sweet. I didn't do much work. I like talked to people about it. Sick. You know, everyone was like, this is so crazy. But you were people present were at the weed. shop. I was present at the shop. That's cool. Um, yeah. And, uh, but the amount of times that I reached for my phone. <laughs> I would have been like KP's. <laughs> and the amount of times that um, I felt anxiety for what I was going to come back to on that phone was what more fuck? than I anticipated. Good. And it did leave me feeling a little bit vulnerable. Like, I was just like, I can't get a hold of anyone. Like, when was the last time that I couldn't get a hold of anyone? Oh, man. It reminds me, it was so fun when I was a kid. There was no cell phones. Yeah. I'm still one of those people. That's why millennials are weird. I'm talking like <clears throat> I know young, we get like both. first going out. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking like 10. Like if you were out like with your friends, you didn't have phones. Mm -mm. I got a cell phone early, I think, like at 11 or something. I think mine was at 15. Fuck. Yeah, but like, or even before that, like, yeah, people didn't have phones. You had pay phones. But like we are, I, I feel... I feel that addiction as well, but I've been weaning myself off it. But you'd be <clears> surprised <throat> when you really don't I like have when, access to it. When everyone couldn't contact each other, I was okay with that. I'm always down for when the Listen, lights go out. I was okay with it. It just the idea that I couldn't contact someone and I didn't know when the next time I would be able to contact someone was... But it, it wasn't scary. All, I knew it was going to cool, be all good. Actually. I can walk home like everything was going to be all good. There was nothing yeah. fearful about it at all. But the concept that it left of how vulnerable I actually am to these communication companies, like it, mm. one day doesn't affect me. If you get hacked or you go down for a month, like what does that even look like? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. I think <clears throat> I think it's good that we're um, experiencing these things. Me because too. This is the longest all of it's been running. Yeah. So there's there's bound to be certain breakdowns and hiccups. And if you ask me, it probably wasn't even a breakdown or a hiccup. I'm a conspiracy theorist in the way where I think that the large telecommunications company are definitely in some sort of cahoots. There has to be with surveillance to a certain element. Um, Cahoots. With some sort of agenda that they're testing to see how people react. Because remember with Makes the sense. with the Ukraine war, like when people went took all their money out of the bank and the ATMs and the bank machines were pretty full that day. Like people I, I feel like it was fifty fifty out there. Our bank machines were running out because people couldn't tap. Interact was down. Yeah. So like imagine that. Like yeah, interact is on Rogers. Ca cash showed its value again for yeah. one day Ooh. yeah yeah you had to go get cash mm -hmm. you had to have cash yeah and this was a nationwide for our american friends this was nationwide so this was across canada like people were in cities i imagine people were running to because you don't want to stop your life you're like no oh, fucking i'm going out tonight like it's friday night you know yeah. the weekend concert got canceled like because they couldn't sell merch 
For sure, absolutely. Yeah. But like, still, the fact that it affected that so much, they decided to postpone it instead of keep it. Like, that's pretty wild to me. Yeah. It was a, it was a wild day. I know. I it very would, much enjoyed it, though. I loved it. I love blackouts. Yeah. I've never. I'm like, get but the you, candles. You didn't experience it. You were attached all day. You had access to anyone that you wanted. Oh yeah. Like you literally didn't experience. We had very different experiences that day. Yeah, so I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> it was wild. I'm yeah, telling I didn't you, it was it. it was a fun, but like, oh shit, this is Can a reality. Can you leave your phone at home one day? Like we should try that. Well, I've done that accidentally, and I will tell you the anxiety of what I'm coming back to. It's not really the anxiety of dealing with anything, but I'm just like, oh, what if someone's trying to get a hold of me? In, oh, what I'm coming back to, like when you look at your phone again. Yes. Ah, shit, right. Yeah. Because you're like, I'm usually notified, and people expect that I have this thing on me, so if they don't hear back from me, like instead of having one text and being able to like interact with that person, yeah, that like person may be like better, 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 and like or whatever, or an opportunity may miss. Like as an yeah. actor too, you're you're trained to sit by the phone as an actor. On my yeah, and so I did yeah, I didn't have access to email or anything, so I was literally just like deleting photos on my phone. Shit, that's a good activity it was, though. Yeah, it was. How many did you delete? And I had so many messages that didn't go through to you, so I even said. To Brooke, I was like, I wonder how long, how many hours will go by before Ev is like, oh, I wonder, I wonder if I should check in. No, I knew, <laughs> I knew immediately. I knew, like, it's yeah, so you had internet, so you knew about the Rogers outage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were some people that were like on the content. Yo, these fucks. You guys are fucks. Can you imagine? Whoever put though, these stickers on? I bet people were crying weed at is Rogers. Fucking ridiculous. People were crying at Rogers that day. Crying? Yeah. Why? Because someone was in big trouble. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was all just a tested plan to see how humans react. It was a failed software update, I heard. Oh, yeah, of course. That's the easiest thing to say. I'm going to try one of these. Okay, I'm down. Beep. You want to have a tuna sandwich after this? Yes. Mmm. 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 That tastes like blue freezy. That's the best one of their gummies so far. Oh my god. Mmm. Sour blue raspberry. I have, um. Wow. What time is it? We have to keep an eye on the time for you. Yeah. So I have a. Hit us with a fun. Fun, 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 fact, fact, fun, fact, 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 fun, fact, 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 fact. A paper cut is more painful than a regular cut because such a wound almost never bleeds, meaning the cut is shallow. So the nerve endings and tissues stay exposed to the air, which irritates them. What? What? Say it again. A paper cut is more painful than a regular cut because such a wound almost never bleeds, meaning the cut is shallow. So the nerve endings and tissues stay exposed to the air, which irritates them. That's why it hurts so much. Isn't that nice to know? Because it doesn't bleed. Yeah. That's bullshit. I know. So just get a Band-Aid on it. It seems silly to put a Band-Aid on a paper cut too, right? Like who no, does that? No, do that. Help it. Also. We're, we're like Wolverines, yo. I'm just going to let everyone know. I'm going to let everyone know that. that. Right now I'm dropping something on you. Drop it. Um, penguins have knees. Yeah, penguins have knees. Go Little look it up. Penguin knees? Yeah, go look it up. Penguin knees. <laughs> Are you penguin knees? Like, if you're part penguin, then you're penguin knees. Yeah. Penguin knees. I'm going to read from the book that changed my life, Think and Grow Rich wow. by Napoleon Hill. Ooh, this is dense. 
This is dance. This is dance. When he chooses a page between 108 and 284. Choose. 127. 127. 127. They can grow rich by Napoleon Hill. Page 127. In the chapter of organized planning, be adapted to the changes the media here described are the ones that, more than any others, determine the trend of civilization. <laughs> I don't make this shit up, you guys. I don't fucking make When it up. and how to apply for a position. The information described here is the net result of many years of experience during which thousands of men and women were helped to market their services effectively. It can, th it can therefore be relied upon as sound and practical. Media through which services may be marketed. Experience has proved that the following media offer the most and direct and effective methods of bringing the buyer and seller of services together. One, employment agencies. Care must be taken to select only reputable agencies, the management of which can show adequate records of achievement of satisfactory results. Two, advertising in newspapers, trade journals, magazines, and on the internet. Classified advertising may be usually relied upon to produce f satisfactory results in the case of those who apply for clerical or ordinary salaried positions. Display advertising is more desirable in the case of those who seek executive connections. The copy to appear in the section of the paper most likely to come to the attention of the class of employer being sought. When preparing the advertisement, it is advantageous to get advice from an expert who understands how to inject sufficient selling qualities to produce replies. Three, personal letters of applications <clears throat> directed to particular firms or individuals most likely to need the services being offered Letters should be neatly typed, always, and signed by hand. With the letter should be sent a complete CV or outline of the applicant's qualifications. Both the letter of the application and the CV should be prepared with the advice from an expert below. I'm just going to, there's a list of five, so I'm just going to do these other two. Four. Application through personal acquaintances. When possible, the applicant should endeavor to approach prospective employers through some mutual acquaintance. This method of approach is particularly advantageous in the case of those who seek executive connections and do not wish to appear to be peddling themselves. 5. Application in person. In some instances, it may be more effective if applicants offer their services personally to prospective employers. In such cases, a complete written statement of qualifications for the position should be presented so that, pr that prospective employers may discuss the applicant's record with associates. We just got five ways to apply for a position. <laughs> nice. And how to. Thanks. But with a kickoff of the trend of civilization. Incredible. Yeah, such a valuable book in these ways. It has done so much thought work for you. Some fertile fields in which new leadership will be required. In the field of politics, there is a most insistent demand for new leaders. The financial industry is undergoing a reform. Industry calls for new leaders. Religious leaders of the future will be forced to give more attention to temporal needs of their followers. In the professions of law, medicine, and education, a new brand of leadership, new leaders will be required in the field of journalism. The media of the future to be conducted successfully to be divorced from special privilege and relieved of the subsidy of advertising. Oh, that's us. Oh, good. Good. 
Good then. Oh, uh, I guess we're like oh, medium of jur- journalism. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, oh, okay, butthead. That was a great episode. <laughs> <laughs> bunghole. TP for my bunghole. Okay, great. Okay, great. Thanks for tuning in. Please consider subscribing um, or following us on Spotify. Uh, share it with your friends. Give us a review on uh, the podcast page. And leave a comment if you're watching YouTube. Have I not been wearing a shirt this whole time? Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to comment on. I'm just so used to it. Do we like... Comment this. Do we like 11 shirtless? Should I, should I do more booby dancing? We can do it all dancing? summer. Should we do more booby dancing? He doesn't even usually want to wear a shirt. Yeah, so you're lucky I put pants on. If everyone likes it, I mean... Love you. Love you. Okay, good times. Love you. Hey, have a nice time today. You know, just enjoy your life because that's the best. Sit with the dis- the texture of what was it? Misunderstanding. Another Fuck! I feel like we got off of that, thing but uh, that but still, sit with it. Face. Honey, I knew that it would be together forever. Oh, I asked you out. You said no, but I been out. Darling, that you've been hurt. I never thought you would love again. I deserve a try, honey. Just a once. No, you don't. Give me a try and I'll prove it all wrong. I said no. I walked in, you were so quick to judge. I had my reasons. Darling, he's nothing like me. You don't know him. I'll never break your heart. It's a bad promise. I'll never make you cry. 100% you will. (laughs) I'd rather die. That's unhealthy. Than live without I'll give you, you all, all of me, me darling, me. that's no lie. As time <laughs> he goes too far. He by it. you, he takes it too far to in to every, me. every area of his life. Just that one okay, step. Okay, I love you guys. And then, then he knows. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Discipline stoners. The gateway drug to mindfulness. Gateway drug to mindfulness. Let's roll one up and take a hit. Gateway drug to mindfulness. Hey, Wim! Oh my god. <laughs> yes? We, uh, we got a new thing. Oh, right! We need to tell you about our new thing. Support the show now on Patreon and get a bunch of private perks. 